sunflowers as a cover crop oh yeah so we're at the stage now in this warm growing season where a lot of our crops are finishing up now we've still got a good bit of production going on but we pretty much planted all the vegetables that we're going to plant until fall when we start putting some cool weather crops in the ground now we just planted one more round of squash and cucumbers and those are probably you know keep going through the end of july or so but for the most part we're kind of wrapping up the vegetable part of this warm growing season and we're going to start focus on rehabbing our soil taking care of our soil and just having some kind of ground cover there on those plots so the weeds don't take them over and we can just kind of have something as a placeholder until we get ready to plant some more vegetable crops in the fall now a few of the vegetable crops we have planted now will make it all the way through the summer things like sweet potatoes okra and our peppers and eggplant usually survive the summers okay the production may dwindle a little bit but they'll usually survive the summer and you know once it starts cooling a little bit they'll kind of kick back up that production a little bit but most of the stuff is going to be finished come august or so if not sooner so it's time to start thinking about warm season cover crops now there are a lot of great options out there as far as warm season cover crops you've got your sun hemp you got your sorghum sedan grass buckwheat brown top millet iron clay peas and we're going to be planting probably some of each of those amongst these 10 plots I have as things finish up. But one thing a lot of people really don't consider as a cover crop is sunflowers. And sunflowers provide great ground cover. They're gonna help feed your pollinators. I got a beehive back there. They're gonna love these sunflowers. So they're gonna give you good ground cover, gonna keep the weeds at bay there because it's gonna shade out the entire area. And it's just gonna add some nice beauty to your garden throughout those real hot summer months. So this plot right here, what I like to call plot one of six in my dream garden is where we had summer squash and cucumbers. It's since been cleaned up, got it tilled up. The soil is a lot better than it was last year. Adding that compost surely made a huge difference. We got this thing ready to plant. Now there's a few small weeds that have popped up in there, but I'll take care of those once those sunflowers sprout and start to come up. This soil is dry. We haven't had any good rain in a long time. This stuff is powder dry, but that's gonna be okay for planting. And then we'll get some water on it as soon as we get these seeds in the ground. Now, if you're gonna plant sunflowers as a cover crop, you could easily go out there and just throw or scatter those seeds, rake them in lightly, put some water on it, and they would come up just fine today we want to be a little more conservative with our seeds because we're planting some kind of specialty sunflower varieties that are real pretty have some really nice blooms on them so we want to make sure we kind of conserve our seeds we don't want to waste a lot of seeds so we're going to use our cross garden seeder to plant this cover crop of sunflowers so let's head on over to the barn see what kind of seeds we have and make us a seed plate so we can get these sunflowers planted real quick and easy. All right, let's see what we're working with right here. So we got two varieties we're gonna be planting in that plot. We got these chocolate cherry sunflowers, a new variety we added this year. Really excited about trying those. We got this joker sunflower we had. Um, I think we had that one last year, but I didn't get a chance to grow it last year. So really wanna try that one. I'm gonna plant at least half the plot if not more in this chocolate cherry sunflower. We sell that in the, I think, half pound, maybe quarter pound and a pound is the largest bag we sell that in. The Joker sunflower, we sell that in the packets and then these thousand seed uh, bulk packaging here. Now, as far as our cedar goes, we don't make a, we don't have a stock sunflower plate. That's mainly because the seed size on sunflowers can vary greatly depending on what variety you're planting and so it's easier just to kind of let everybody make their own plate depending on what variety they're planting now when i'm planting the pro cut sunflowers which i showed you last year doing that with the garden cedar 
I will put them a lot closer together. The Pro Cuts are a what we call a single stem sunflower. And so you can pack them in a little more tightly. These things are gonna produce lots of blooms, whereas the Pro Cut just blooms that one nice bloom. These guys are gonna branch and produce lots of blooms. So I'm gonna give these a little more room. When I do the Pro Cuts, I usually have about six holes in the seed plate because I'm gonna stack them pretty thick. For these guys, I think I'm gonna go with something like this spacing here on the stock number four plate. So four holes, uh, 19, divided by, 19 inches divided by four gives us about a four to five inch spacing, which is what I want for these guys. So let's see what our seed looks like here. And then we can see how we're gonna to need to modify this plate. So these seeds here are actually a good bit smaller than I thought they were gonna be. And I think that number four plate is gonna to be too big. It's definitely too thick and it's gonna be, the holes are gonna to be too big. I'm gonna be planting a lot of doubles because these seeds here are kind of small. Looks like they're almost smaller than the Pro Cuts are. So I don't think a number four plate is gonna work here. So I'm gonna to have to find another plate here to modify so we can plant these guys. All right, after doing a little digging, this is what I came up with and this is not perfect, but it will work. Um, couldn't find the, the plate that I was really looking for in my stack, but I found this number one plate. Yeah, it has the holes already pre-drilled, but those holes there are so small that I ain't got to worry about these sunflower seeds falling through there. So I took every other hole and made it bigger, big enough where these sunflower seeds will fit in there and sit and flow through that hole nicely. And this is the right thickness. That other plate was a little too thick. I was going to get a lot of double stacking in there. I started with my step drill bit here to, to kind of make those holes bigger than my drill bit died. So I had to kind of do some makeshift work here and took my knife and just kind of wallered them out that way. Like I said, it ain't perfect. It ain't the most round holes, but they'll work for what we're doing here. So that should work for the chocolate cherries. Let's take a look at these jokers here and see what we've got. See if these guys are bigger or smaller. So those guys there are a hair bit bigger than the chocolate cherries, but I think it will still work. Looks like they'll all still fit in that hole there. Maybe I need to make that hole just a hair bit bigger with my knife, but I should be able to use the same seed plate on both of these. Even though that one's, the joker's a little bit bigger, I'll take my knife here, just make those holes a little bit bigger. That way I can use the same seed plate for both of them. All right, so we got our seed plate here we made with four holes in it. We got our hopper right here. Make sure it's kind of cleaned out. There's a little bit of trash in there. Put our seed plate in here. Get all our other components, our little wooden cone, brush, and our wing nut here. Hold everything in place. We don't need to tighten that very much at all. Right there should be good. Now I'm just going to pour, I'm not going to fill it up, just pour about that many seeds in here to start off with and make sure everything's running right. I've got my depth gauge here set on about a half inch. These seeds are fairly small, we don't need to plant them super deep, so a half inch or so should be good enough. And I'm not going to measure out where my rows are going to be, I'm going to plant these rows about three feet apart or so just eyeball it walk along there until we get this whole plot planted all right all right all right we got them planted kind of helped with that soil being kind of dry there i could see my tracks pretty easily and get my rows somewhat evenly spaced like i said it ain't perfect we didn't measure it but uh, i think we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven rows in there approximately three feet apart these uh plots here are 35 feet wide so that's pretty close we got 11 rows in there we got them close to three feet apart now if you wanted to be even more 
conservative with your seed, you can transplant these sunflowers. Dad does a lot of that in his garden. It works really well. You just kind of got to plan ahead so you have your transplants ready when you're ready to get these guys in the ground. We're going to overhead water these just because we've got this entire plot planted. I didn't want to relay drip and I wanted to plant them kind of thick. So we're just going to overhead water these, but you can put them on drip. If you're just doing a row or two here and there, you can put them on drip, put a plant on every emitter and it works really well that way. So let's get our water on here so we can start wet that plot, feed them babies and let them get to germinate. So we'll let that overhead sprinkler there run ah uh, probably a good part of the afternoon probably three hours or so like i said that plot is dry so we want to suck it down good so we can get some real good germination there and as hot as it is hot as it's been being these things should come up in just a couple days if we give it plenty of water so we use those spring and early summer months to feed ourselves now it's time to take a little break and feed our soils with some cover crops and feed our pollinators and our bees with some of these sunflowers here. I'll put some links below to both of these sunflower varieties that we planted today and also a link to our Hoss Garden Seeder so you can check that out and get one if you need one if they're available. If they're not, you can get put on a wait list to receive a notification when they are available. If you enjoyed this video, give me a big thumbs up. Remember to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell button so you get notified every time we come out with a new video. And if you did enjoy this one, check out these other two sunflower videos right here. I think you'll really like those as well. We'll see you next time.